is determined to get soaked. Absolutely. He's not coming in my car if he does. Okay, after all the crappy weather we had, today is actually going to be quite good. Even though the weather forecast has said this week is going to be horrific, today's a gloriously sunny day since I've woken up. So, gym first, and then hopefully George and I are going to get, a, get ourselves out, go and enjoy the day somewhere and do something. Um, it's too nice not to be out and about. It's not going to be the warmest day, but it is going to be sunny. And I want to really stick the drone in the air as well, since it's a nice day. Get some more footage for the 4K demo. So first things first, let's go and do that gym session. Shoulders this morning with a little bit of cardio to go afterwards. And that was a brilliant session really really good and um, yeah my shoulders are feeling it still but whatever now time for some breakfast get the batteries charged for the drone and see what's happening with George and hopefully we'll get ourselves out today enjoy the sunshine and get some great filming done as well batteries charged bags are packed let's get going heading to the coast to do some filming wow this weather is absolutely stonking it's brilliant we were just saying if it was a good 10 degrees warmer yeah this would be ideal wouldn't it yeah Absol it was about 15 16 now if it was 25 26 this is like one of the best places you can be this is lovely, really, really nice. Uh, George is just doing a quick time lapse. Gonna head our way down to the coast, try and get some more drone footage down there, see what we can do. And um, yeah, this is really, really nice. I think I'm gonna try and take us down to the needles. Are you stripping I'm off? I'm getting my t-shirt on. Well, oh. it's already on, but you know what I mean. We're not used to this in the UK. I know most of you in America will be going, what the hell are you talking about, you weird English people? But this is probably our summer, so let us just enjoy it. It means something so much more as an English person to have a day like today, put it that way. <laughs> yeah, we get two, maybe three of these a year, so we made the most of them. <laughs> then we're on the road to Limington and towards the coast but we've just stopped off in this place here beautiful waters skies good landscapes we're gonna stick the drone up see what it's like from the sky gym and fitty and stuff like that. No? That's all right then. That's a that's a big wee. <laughs> all right then we found Limington and um, as we were driving through Limington to get to the beach George promptly pointed out there's an ice cream parlor that we went past so that's where we're going. Get some ice cream. Yeah. No, <laughs> not 
melon mark, that's for sure. Okay. The most difficult choice ever. Would you like um, a flake or a flake stick? Three more. Oh, go on then, yeah, I'll have a flake please, thank you. They didn't have a carton big enough for George's. Oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> god, I think I've got enough sorbet. Anyone want any? Yeah, you sure? <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna eat it. <laughs> and what's your name? Vincent. Vincent. Victor. Victor. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice right. to meet you too. What's Who's your dog? name? George. George. Good name. My grandfather's name. I miss Huskies. I went to Good Finland. Name. Be nice, kid, right? Yeah, doing it. Be nice. Go watch your Christian time, yeah? Jesus. Watch in front of the muzzle all the time. Because that's how she communicates with you. So if she's happy, she's coming. If she's not, you'll see by her muzzle. Cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's good advice, trust me. I think she doesn't know anybody. Alright then guys, we're back again. Last time I was down the coast over there. This time we're back in Milford on sea again. I'm going to try and fly it down over there which is where the beach actually is, Thank get a bit more of a, a, a coastline shot across. We'll see what we can do. For my ears at you, sweet melody. Thank you for my is just stunning absolutely stunning i love it absolutely love it here so photogenic i love being by the coast i miss living by the coast i really do Determined to get soaked, absolutely. He's not coming in my car if he does. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> it's just my feet. 
just this one. I thought I was going to get my head. I was bending down to put the camera up. <laughs> It's been, it, guys. A, been a stonking afternoon. It has been Absolutely. a hondinger. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, in fact, great. actually on the camera at the moment, you look like you've caught the sun a bit. Really? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Might be able to get all the girls now. No, I'm joking. All ready for his trip to Seattle. So, yeah, I won't see you tomorrow, so have a great time in Seattle. Merci beaucoup. And uh, make sure that you have a coffee at the original Starbucks. I will. And then I'll tell everybody how bad Starbucks is because Starbucks is bad. <laughs> It might be good at the original. <laughs> if it's not good at the original, it's not going to be good anywhere. So, yeah, I'll so let you know. you hope that when you're queuing for three hours that the coffee's going to be good. So, yeah, have a wicked time anyway. All right then, home, and I've just done a coaching session with the lads, um, done some biomechanics work. What was I saying before my battery died? I, I can't remember. Anyway, I'm now at Waitrose. I'm going to get myself a free coffee, get some bits and pieces so I can make some dinner, and then get home. This weather has just changed ridiculously. We had such glorious weather today, George and I, down on the coast. We've been so lucky. Look at that! It is disgusting out there. Absolutely horrible. Uh, and I'm also back on the S120, which I happened to charge the battery on as well. Very, very good job I did. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been talking to you now. Right, anyway, let's get inside. I'm hopefully not too soaked. Okay, the weather may suck, but that is a pretty awesome rainbow. And in fact, in the words of Bear, a friend of mine on YouTube and on uh, Facebook, it's a double rainbow. But what does it mean? So Zuska was just asking the question, why in Countdown does Rachel Riley always get to wear short dresses? And my answer to that is because she's got good legs. But Susanna's not in particularly impressed with that answer, are you? No? Well, it's true, isn't it? Are you jealous of her legs? Because you've got beautiful legs. You've got beautiful legs. She has got very nice legs and she does wear short dresses. Probably. Why do I watch it? Why do I watch it? Why do I watch camp? Because I like doing word and number games. That's why I watch. And nothing to do with her short legs. Her short legs, her long legs, and her short dresses. Anyway, I'm going to bed. I've got to be up really early tomorrow. I've got a full day. I'm over in Windsor at a big convention. Uh, loads of networking events and other opportunities as well. A couple of uh, talks I'm going to go to and find out some bits and pieces and talk to a lot of businesses. So. Yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow morning bright and early, earlier than normal even for the gym. I have to leave this flat to get to Windsor in time about half past six. Oh, I'm not happy about it. I'll see you then. Thanks ever so much for watching today. Uh, if you're brand new, please do subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed all the videos and the drone footage and everything else that's been in there. Uh, if you uh, want to see what I was doing maybe one, two, three or four years ago, you can do that by clicking on the links either in the description or the annotations on the end slate as well. I promise I'll try to remember to put them there. And uh, go and click on that mystery video as well and see where it takes you. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Sleep tight, don't let the bugs bite, sweet dreams and be healthy. Have a good one. Bye!